we just come off a um, rather large European tour, uh, which was great for cementing the new songs live. I don't think we've ever been a better live band than we are right now. In fact, I think this is the best time there's ever been in an album. This is the best time to, that we've ever had together. It's the most fun that we've had, it's the best relationship that we've had, it's the best music that we've made. Uh, it's never been as good as it is right now. Um, and I think it was just just the other day I, I remember, I realised that um, I just feel very, very lucky and privileged to be with those guys and doing that thing. Because um, their family, you know, it's like, I've just moved to a new country and uh, I moved to a new city and I'm currently living in Oslo in Norway, amazing country, love it there. And people, you know, sometimes can find it difficult to move to a new country. It's like people say, oh, you've moved away from your family. I said, no, I haven't. <laughs> They're on the fucking tour bus. <laughs> you know, it's great. And um, for that reason, I'm, um, it's great to be able to go to a place like Norway and have this headspace and feel, you know, like in inspired and encouraged to do other things. And then go back and meet the lads. And it's like, you know, just like getting on a bike. Oh, it's us again. Right, here we go. We're best friends. And um, and obviously, uh, everybody's working really, really hard to make the music sound as good as possible live now. And uh, we've learned to play with, you know, a few backing tracks and click tracks to really keep it in time. And uh, so there have been lessons learned there. I think when we prepare the next album, when we rehearse the next album, rehearse the drum parts and everything, there will be quite a lot of lessons learned. We'll probably rehearse with the backing tracks prepared and probably practice in town. So it's great. I'm, uh, I'm delighted with uh, with being in, in Anathema at the moment. Um, you know, it's nice to be back in the game. It's nice to have been given the awards by Classic Rock that we got. And it's nice to get a little bit of appreciation, a little bit of um, encouragement. It's the way I would call it. I mean, when you get an award like that, it's an encouragement. It's not a pat on the back, oh, well done, rest on your laurels. It's an encouragement to keep moving forward, that you're doing something right, that's resonating with people, and that people agree with me, because I did think it was it was one of the best albums of, of that year. And, um, and a few people agree, and that's lovely, you know. And uh, let's see if we can't make a better one. That's the idea. Very grateful for Steve Wilson's contribution to that record. I would say mixing that record with him is one of the few real highlights that I've had in music. It was uh, just, uh, just a pleasure. You know, it wasn't a headache for either one of us. You know, probably a little bit more of a headache for him than it was for me. Um, but something we both really, really enjoyed. And it was great to have him involved because it got people to um, sit up and listen again to what we had, you know, and to take it maybe that little bit more seriously. Because, you know, if you're hearing good things about this record, it's great, but if you're hearing good things and Steve Wilson's mixed it and, you know, you've heard a song maybe, you think, wow, it's, that's what's happened. It's generated this excitement and this aura. And apart from anything else, he did a really, really good job. He was like a filter for that. Because I'd be sitting behind him throwing ideas every 30 seconds, stop the tape, this, 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 okay. Stop the tape, this, 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 stop. And I, I just went through everything with him. Um, he, he never once lost his concentration. Um, he never lost his focus, and he never lost the ability to step back and just take five minutes. Okay, okay. I think you might be right there. I don't agree there. Uh, so that was great, he was like the filter really for all the good ideas to go through and the bad ones to remain behind. Uh, so that was a great privilege. And when we finished that record and it was finally mixed, it was a real, real high point for me. I felt on top of the world and I felt like, I should have done it actually, I felt like writing a letter of gratitude to every member of Anathema for the support. I felt so supported by them and so encouraged and vindicated and it, it was really, really nice.